Today is Saturday. I am drinking a Red Bull and getting ready to head down to Nordstrom. I need to return some faux leather leggings that I picked up that I did not like. Um, yeah, I didn't like them. Do y'all ever do this? So like, in my weight loss, I've noticed that I still purchase the size that I was and not the size that I am now and that's what I did with those faux leather leggings and I totally got them in a 31 and needed a 29 like every day of the week um they're sold out in my size I'm just gonna return them I don't need them um what else I need to stop in Nordstrom as well because I have a pickup order so I ordered another Barefoot Dreams blanket um, because like I told y'all in this family, they're stealing the one that I <laughs> have for myself. So I'm gonna see how I feel about this one. If I love it, then it's gonna be mine. And then y'all can take the one that y'all always taking. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up buying another one before the year ends. I feel like everybody's gonna have one in our house at this point. So we are gonna head out y'all, get our day going. Um, I also need to stop at like a children's place or something for Caden. So um, his school moved to uniforms this year. And well, it's always been uniforms but this year it's mandatory and so we never i'm not gonna lie we are like rebellious parents um it they will always be like it has to be a uniform and we'd be like yeah okay whatever <laughs> and we would just see kaden in what we wanted to see him in because clarence and i are both like style people you know what i'm saying we feel like your style is like your personality reflects your personality and so whatever he wants to wear you know we let him wear and they've just sent so many freaking letters here and stuff reminding us and letting us know that it is mandatory do not send your child to school without their uniform because there'll be problems so i'm gonna try to pick up a couple more things while i'm down there as well I'm just going to the Buckhead area. I'm going to stop and get gas because, of course, Clarence said stop and get gas last night when we were actually in the car together. And you know me. <laughs> I'm a little baby that don't listen. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't listen and now I'm upset. But that's neither here nor there and perfectly fine i am going to stop and get some gas hit the road go down to nordstrom return these leggings pick up that blanket and try to stop in children's place and see if i can find a couple more uniform things um and i'll share with you guys this other stuff that i've gotten for kaden for like the school year he is going to get his haircut tomorrow um we did we did a deep clean of his room earlier in the week just to like purge and get everything a fresh new start um we're about to redo some stuff upstairs anyway like i want to replace a few like major items like i feel like i would the little dresser that we have for cam is like a nursery dresser and at this point he's just grown out of it so i'm thinking we'll take caden's dresser 
and give it to Cam since it's like a you know adult size dresser. Um, give Kaden our dresser and then purchase a new dresser and nightstand set for ourselves. That's what I'm thinking. Because there's nothing wrong with our dresser. Honestly, I just want to change the color scheme. And when I was up there, I was like, ooh, I'm so sick of this nursery um, dresser for Cam. Y'all know nursery furniture is tiny. Um, and so I'm over it with that nursery dresser. So I was like, hmm, what should I do? And I was like, well, shoot, ain't no need of me wasting money. I might as well get the adults, the new shit, and just pass down our dresser. Even though our dresser, like, we honestly, we haven't even had it five years. I think we've had it for, like, the last. We got it shortly before Kim was born. Or, well, no, we got it about a year and a half before Kim was even thought about. So, it may be, like, four years old. It's not that old. So, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no dings, chips, nothing like that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give that to Kaden. There's nothing wrong with Kaden's dresser. We're gonna give that to Cam, um, and then buy a new dresser and night uh, nightstand set for ourselves. So yeah. So that's something I've been looking into, trying to figure out where we want to get that from. Um, ways, but. Yeah, let me, y'all, I'm just talking and rambling. So I finally made it home. It is hot as ever outside, but I thought while I was sitting down and like nothing to do, nothing on my radar, I would sit down and share with you guys all the stuff that I picked up. So I'm gonna start with this stuff that came in from Nordstrom last week. Um, this jacket that was in the Nordstrom anniversary sale showed up for Caden. I wanted this for him for school because, um, he gets really cold and last year we did a lot of like hoodies or old navy jackets or gap jackets but i just felt like a denim jacket would do him good for the fall and um winter season that's coming up so i thought this would be perfect for school i did get it in a size large it's by levi original price point was 46 dollars. it was in the nordstrom anniversary sale for 21 so this was really hard to come by too y'all because all the kids stuff for some reason just would not come back in stock i me and clarence were in the car um and it came in and i instantly ordered it and as soon as i ordered it it was sold out so this was one of those like steals that everybody was racking up on um but when it came back in stock i picked it up so i got him so picked up another barefoot dreams blanket um i actually got this from nordstrom rack i ordered it last week they started a sale on nordstrom rack so if you um go on nordstrom rack all barefoot dreams is always like marked down at least half price and then they were doing an additional 25 percent off so the blanket itself was 44 97 and then i had a 10 dollar nordstrom note for from all the shopping i've done like during the sale and so i ended up getting the blanket for $34.97 y'all and I picked it up today I love it and we're definitely about to throw it in the wash and get some good use out of it so love this I went ahead the school year is starting on Monday so he needed a new backpack the one that he has from last year we always just transfer that and it becomes his Gigi bag the bag that he uses to go to um, my mom's house but y'all know Kaden loves champion so we were able to find this awesome 
backpack for him y'all this thing is made so well the original price point on it because it did it is a set was $60 and we got it from TJ Maxx for $29.99 it has this built-in pocket up top um it also can hold a 15 inch laptop it's embossed with the champion logo like stitched on the back the padding on these straps is really, really good too. And it just, I don't know, it just feels really good. You've got a pocket here in the front. Um, and then it comes with a lunch box as well. And Kaden love that. <laughs> so um, it's very, very roomy on the inside and has multiple pockets. So this is definitely gonna be a, a good backpack for him going to fourth grade. Now, let me share with you guys some of the stuff that I picked up for him for him from the Dollar Tree, just kind of like in between hygiene type stuff. So I'd already um, about two weeks ago picked him up like shirt, new shirts, new um, new undershirts, new underwear, and um, more kind of like summer clothes just to kind of get him through until end of September, early October, because that's when it'll finally break as far as the weather here. But I looked up y'all in the Dollar Tree, this was months ago, and found these socks they are by indoor they're called indoor boys long lasting boy socks you get four pair of perfect hole proof boy socks i will admit these are durable so like i said i found these a few months ago for kaden he has been using them all spring and summer long y'all and they wash up like a dream so when i fell in the dollar tree last week and they had I ain't gonna lie, I got all four that they had left. When they had four pair left, I went ahead and picked them up. Like I said, you get four for a dollar and twenty-five cent. So he does not need socks at this present time. He has both this uh style and crew style. However, as the year progresses, he's gonna need more socks. So I just went ahead and picked up tons of socks. I like to just pick up some of his like hygiene stuff. Um, I replaced his lotion. He needed a new bottle of lotion, but I got that from Target. Um, new toothbrush, new toothpaste, that kind of stuff. But certain things I will get from the Dollar Tree. This I picked up, which is just some Carmax. I'm going to put this in his book bag. You got to keep their lips moisturized. In the morning, I like to have him put Vaseline like on his face and on his lips. And so I just keep a little tiny one from him. And for him, you can get these from the Dollar Tree, but I just keep a little tiny one in his bathroom. I also picked him up. He already has like a big ax, but you can't beat a dollar and 25 cent. So I just pick him up these little um, ax body sprays. These are good for him. You know, smell fresh, honey. And now uh, I've been really keeping Kaden on like the wash your face, brush your teeth, and moisturize your face. So if I don't have him throw the Vaseline all over his face, which I'll be honest, he really only uses the Vaseline on his face in the winter time. Um, but just through and through day to day, I love this Pond's light moisturizer for him. So he has actually been using this for several months and he's about halfway through the one he has. So with the new school year coming up, I just thought I would pick him up another one. That way when that one's done, he has a little backup. I also picked him up a new hairbrush. Y'all know Kaden cut his hair. Um, and so with him having a low cut in the morning, he needs to brush his hair. So I picked that up just to throw it in his bathroom. Again, trying to keep him in habit. Wash your face, brush your teeth, throw in a little moisturizer, you know, um, brush your hair, like spray down, put some on your lips, you know, so you ain't looking all crusty and disgusted. And then lastly, I just picked him up this luggage tag to actually go on his book bag. On the flip side of it, it just has um, your name, your address, your phone number. And so I'm going to put that on his book bag. It has a little internal thing for you to put stuff. But again, just in case, it was $1.25. You can't go wrong. This was the deal of the century. Now, I don't know if y'all know about this brand, but it's Gold Toe. They make, they're really exclusively known for like socks. If you, if there's a man in your life and he wears dress socks, you have heard of Gold Toe. But they had shirts, shirts at the Dollar Tree by Gold Toe for $1.25. Girl, I had to buy them up. Um, and I bought them because I had 
went to Walmart and purchased some pants for Caden and just thought these would be perfect to interchange with those pants. And y'all see what I'm talking about in a second. But the original, does it show? Let's see. The original price point, I don't know if it's going to show, but $12 was the original price point on these plain white shirts, y'all. I got them in a men's small for Caden um and they fit him well like he can actually even grow into him a little bit but they were a dollar and 25 cent and then when i went to walmart last week they had some shorts so that's why i got those shirts because they had all these shirts or all these shorts marked down to a dollar y'all kids shorts um and so again because it's gonna continue to be warm here um although Kaden wears uniforms for school now we still do a lot of stuff on the weekends and he needs little outfits so i picked up a blue pair the original price point on these were 12.98 i got them in a size large for him and again they all were ringing up for a dollar so i picked up a blue pair i picked up a black pair and i picked up this khaki pair and what i love these white shirts will go <laughs> with each and every one of them so three outfits for seven dollars i'll take it um boys are rough and hard on clothes so when i can find stuff really inexpensive i rack city up okay. something else i wanted to mention to y'all that i have been getting from the dollar tree lately that i highly recommend for you guys is some cleaning products um i have fallen in love with this palm olive spray away quick dissolving um it's i guess it's like a spray dish detergent y'all it's a dollar and 25 cent and when i tell you this gets grease grime debris it is so good for cleaning your sink if you real old school like me um after you do certain things you want to spray that sink down and clean it out real good this is the bomb for that i have been using this like crazy um it's a dollar and 25 cent and dollar tree and girl i'm not gonna lie i bought like six of them i got backups okay this is good so if you're in your local dollar tree and you see this over on that cleaning aisle pick it up Something else that I have keep finding in the Dollar Tree that I have stocked up on, I have probably like six of them underneath that downstairs cabinet, is this Windex Multi-Surface Disinfectant Cleaner, y'all. This is the refill bottle. Um, I just replace it with whatever little top that's on the present one I'm using. But y'all, for a dollar and 25 cent, this stuff is amazing. So in my house, Everything is glass. The dining room table, the coffee table, the end tables. We have a lot of glassware around here. And that's simply because when we had cam, we used to have wood with a lot of edges and corners. And, you know, with kids, toddlers, that's just not the move. So we got all rounded cornered things like the dining room table and the coffee table and the end tables everything is glass, but it's rounded off just so he doesn't bump his head, hurt himself. So glass is everywhere in this house and you got to keep it clean um this is amazing because not only is it a glass cleaner but it's a disinfectant so not only can i use it for the dining room table and the living room table and the end tables and the mirrors and the windows but i can also use it on my countertops i can also use it to spot clean the baseboards like this is amazing so for a dollar 25 cent y'all run it's a name brand this is not no off brand this this get them pick them up oh and then one last thing too from the dollar tree i also picked up another one of those gold toe shirts but i got it in medium because i found one last week in green i was wearing it in one of my videos last week and so i found this forest green one i get the men's mediums for myself um this shirt too was 12 dollars. was it yep this shirt too it was original price point was $12 and I got it from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 girl these are great little kick about lounge around shirts so yeah. and lastly I stopped at children's place for Kaden um just to pick up more like uniformy type stuff so I picked him up some a couple of shirts and a couple of shorts last week but I needed to get him like a couple more shorts and a, a pair of pants or two um just because of the weather here so these were on sale for $12. No, I think these were on sale for $10. Um, I got him a size 12. 
Original price point was $17.95. These were actually on sale for $12. I picked him up this blue polo shirt. These were $11.99. This is the only one they had in his size. So um, I could only get one. Children's Place was ransacked. Um, and then I also picked him up two red shirts. And these are more of a like uh, cotton material. I just picked him up two red shirts. These were $4.99 a piece. And then he did not, I had a, I got him a pair of navy pants before, like uh, two weeks ago. So I wanted to pick him up another khaki pair of shorts. And these were $10. And then I picked him up a khaki pair of pants. Again, everything in a size 12. And these were $12.99. I didn't do too bad. My total was 68 even. So didn't do too bad. And I, I had a gift card too, y'all. A $25 gift card. So it all worked out for the glory of the Lord. So school supply wise, Caden is good. So I got him like pencils, pens, a three ring binder. But on the first day, they always request that they have a good pocket folder and uh tablet so i picked him up this he also got a new water bottle but it is downstairs i also picked him up a sandwich container and some like um trio containers for like his little snacks and stuff for his lunch box all of which i was able to get from the dollar tree so we are set for school i just wanted to share with you guys a quick like little back to school haul just in case your kids maybe go to school a little bit later and you are looking to pick up some stuff and not break the bank because y'all see i didn't break the bank okay i think clothing wise I don't even think I spent a hundred dollars y'all and I got him stuff for spring and summer and stuff for school or not spring and summer but like to finish off the summer with and then stuff for school so I feel like I did pretty well I'm about to put all this stuff up and relax I just wanted to check in with y'all